Today is October 2nd, 2023. Invoice number V8056. We are video inspecting the living room fireplace. Basic sweep has been performed. Proceeding down video inspection now. As you can see, there is a cap installed. It is a 7 by 11 flu. Proceeding down video inspection now. First course of flu tile does have an open mortar joint. And this partial tile is missing. Um, you also have a very large stagger with a pretty large gap as well. Um, a draft is pretty hard to establish on this fireplace as well. We do have another open mortar joint. And what we can also see is that sh dark, shiny substance on there. That is what we call third stage creosote. That bakes onto the interior of the flue. That is typically caused by improperly seasoned firewood and or lack of any type of service. More third stage creosote. Straight shot. So far, we're approximately about seven feet down. See that creosote is present. Another large open mortar joint in here. And what happens with these large mortar joints is they can affect draft, overall performance of the fireplace. Most importantly, they can allow any heat, spark, flame, and or creosote to migrate into an inaccessible cavity within the structure. Again, more third stage creosote. Very thick as well. This will give you a very pungent odor on hot, humid, rainy days, maybe even windy days. cement protruding into the flue, you do have another gap. A large abundance of third stage creosote is present as well. There's also a very large crack running, I believe there's a large crack running down this course of futile. You can start to see it there. It's pretty much a straight line running down. You do notice that there is a little separation in between, which leads me to believe that that is a crack. Try to adjust the focus on it a little bit better. But I believe that is a crack running right down the center of that flue. Again, large amounts of third stage creosote are in this structure. I would highly recommend having a this creosote remover, PCR for short, applied to the interior of this flue to dissolve any creosote that is present. An aerial lift or a scaffolding will be required to safely access the top of this chimney to remove any byproducts of creosote. A lot of gaps. Open mortar joints throughout the structure. Pretty rough shape. Still a straight shot. And now inside the smoke chamber area. The smoke chamber is also unparged. There are a lot of gaps as you can see. There also is third stage creosote present. We are approximately in height, flue tile to flue tile. We are we are 27 feet tile to tile. The remainder of that 30 is within the smoke chamber. That concludes the video inspection for today. Defects have been observed and all, any and all recommendations will follow. Also, back of firebox could use a repointing as well.
and that concludes the video inspection for today.